Hello, I'm Dr. Maxwell McLean, Chairman of Bradford Teaching Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust. I am so pleased to welcome you to our virtual, joint, annual members meeting and annual general meeting. Now, our Foundation Trust constitution lets us know that we are required to hold an annual meeting of our members, which will be open to the public to present to them the annual report and accounts, and to hold a general meeting for the Council of Governors convened for the purposes of being presented with the annual report and accounts. And indeed our constitution allows for the two meetings to be combined. Now last year we delivered our first virtual annual members meeting and annual general meeting where we had a large number of people watching the live stream. Over the following weeks, we attracted hundreds of views online, and I'm pleased to note that we can consider that a really very strong reach. A lot of our reports from last year's meetings were dominated with news of how we had operated during the early days of the pandemic. And I want to begin today by sincerely thanking all colleagues who work within, or indeed with, our trust. You are amazing in your efforts to save lives and to protect people. Of course, for a second year now, we have been adjusting to our working practices to tackle COVID-19. And while we can see light at the end of the tunnel, we know it remains a long journey. Our Chief Executive, Mel Pickup, and our Director of Finance, Matthew Horner, and our Governors are on hand to bring you a high-level overview of our annual report and accounts and share with you some key points on what has happened here at our Trust during the last year. In May of this year, I celebrated my second anniversary here as chairman. And in June, I signed off the annual report and accounts with our board of directors and could not help but think of the momentous changes we've gone through since I was appointed. In my short journey here, I've spent my first year reshaping our board of directors by bringing in Mel as chief executive and making several further terrific additions to the senior team. My first year in office finished on a high as our trust was awarded an overall good rating by the Care Quality Commission. I honestly believe that was a really important milestone. It was obvious that we had a committed workforce throughout the trust and some areas of genuine excellence. And we organized ourselves well to demonstrate this to the inspectors and deservedly hit the good mark. Now, don't forget, this puts us on a par with the best in the region. And it's my promise that we will keep working towards an overall rating of outstanding for the people of Bradford. Now, I have played my part on the wider stage too, taking the role of chair at the West Yorkshire Association of Acute Trusts, known as WIAT, during my second year. In that time, I chaired the West Yorkshire committee that approved the implementation of the West Yorkshire and Harrogate Single Laboratory Information Management System for pathology. Now that's there to bring standardized reporting methods and faster test results for patients across the region. We also approved a similar shared regional radiology reporting system called the Yorkshire Imaging Collaborative. That brings faster access to patient images and reports and supports better clinical decision-making. This is about all our hospitals and other partners working effectively with each other for the good of all West Yorkshire people. But of course, it's here in Bradford where I am most proud of the teamwork seeing us through the biggest healthcare crisis we have known. I'm in awe of the efforts of so many colleagues to save lives. Our response as a trust has been nothing short of magnificent. So many heroes, Colleagues who have been redeployed at short notice, sometimes without realising coming into work, and other colleagues who've willingly stepped outside of the usual jobs or working practices to support the team effort as volunteers. It's fabulous. And I realise too, this of course has been delivered at a time when we have lost colleagues and family to this dreadful disease. As a board of directors, we have placed staff wellbeing as our highest priority and it's my promise that we will continue to do that. We are one team. 
Vaccination, of course, brings us the promise of brighter days and should eventually reduce the pressure on our hospitals. Again, the service that we've provided here at Bradford Teaching Hospitals and in partnership with other health and care organisations has been amazing. It's really encouraging to note how many people in our district, indeed, have now received the vaccine. Our future success at Bradford Teaching Hospitals will depend upon that ability to act as one with all those agencies who come together to provide the best health service possible for the people of Bradford. My sincere thanks and those of our board of directors and our governors go to all of our staff who are making that difference, especially through these turbulent times. As we are delivering our annual general meeting online, we of course asked for questions from the public in advance and you can view our responses as part of this broadcast. If you have any questions after you've watched our presentations, then please do submit these to membership at bthft.nhs.uk and we will post replies on our website. Thank you for joining us for our 2021 annual members meeting and annual general meeting. Finally, without the work that has taken place in relation to the vaccines for COVID-19, we would be in an even more difficult position than we are now. I am both pleased and proud that a significant contribution to that national work is coming from here in Bradford. Please do tune in to our special keynote presentation delivered by Professor Dinesh Saralaya, presenting a remarkable story for remarkable times. Please do also let us know what you think of what you see and hear. And if you would like to get involved and become a member of our Foundation Trust, you can do so at the link that will be shown below. Thank you all for joining us. And may I finish again by repeating my sincere thanks to all our wonderful staff and colleagues who are making that incredible difference. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.